don't miss any content don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell now let's go to how croatia can beat england now the croats we know is a tall order for them they have played back to back penalty shootouts 120 minutes 120 minutes back to back it's not easy for any footballer it's not easy basically for the croatians to re recover and get back but i feel if they are to win this game they have to boss a man start the midfield and giving away niggly fouls here and there should be reduced to the minimum as i said earlier on about the england's um, um, set piece speciality so crowds have to be really careful they need to recover in time and if what I'm hearing is true and Subasic isn't going to be in goal, then they have a real problem at hand. I think that will be very pivotal too. So, but if Subasic plays, I think they'll be good. They'll be good for the for the match for the game here against England. They have to control the midfield. Modric and Rakitic, we've seen how telepathic they both are so far in midfield, and how they seem to be in sync. They understand each other, and I I count on that continuing. Um, today, especially Mario Mandzukic, he looked lethargic, he looked labored in the last match against Russia. And the goalkeeper, as I said earlier on, he's carrying an injury and it's, it's a doubt for this game. Now, Dalic was too cautious against Russia. He should start Brozovic and play Rack and Modric higher up the field, meaning Kramaric should be dropped. That's for the Croatia. And should not concede first. That, always, that wasn't a good thing against Denmark and Russia, I think that was what drew them back. They, were, they kept chasing the game, chasing the game, and they tired really, really quickly. Yeah, that's what happened to most of their players. And because of that, Perisic was taken off. Perisic was taken off um, in the second half. He didn't even play the, the, um, the extra time and eventual penalty shootout. The Croatia to win, I think the weak spot for England tonight is actually young. He, he's a right... He's a right-footed player playing in the left back, so they should put more pressure on Ashley Young's side of the pitch. I think he will struggle with a little bit of pressure in the games that I've seen so far. He hasn't really been seeing that much pressure, so I think um, Croatia should capitalize on that. And as I said, Rakitic and, and Modric have to be on their games tonight because they have been the most influential players for the Croats in the, in the tournament so far. And, for them to win this and go to the final and win their first ever World Cup trophy, they used to have to be on song as usual. They've been telepathic. I've, I've liked their play, the way they understand each other, the feeling for each other when one moves forward and all that. I think Croatia will benefit from that tonight. And controlling the midfield will be very, very pivotal because England, the personnel in there, Henderson, in the first game, I think, was when he really was in charge of the midfield against Tunisia. But after that, not so much. They've been clinical, but not they've been clinical. But controlling the game hasn't been their strong suit. So I think that will be one place for Croatia to exploit. Rakitic and Modric have to be on song tonight. So since after the, you know how Croatia blazed past the group stages, beat everyone, got all four and nine points. I think teams have been planning around them after the group stages, and they need a plan B in midfield. Maybe Brozovic and Kovacic. If available, then Modric should play in the 10th position. Modric should go a little bit ahead and it needs a little tweak to keep here and there. So I think that will be helpful beneficial to for Croatia. Mandzukic should be on Walker and Stones. I think John Wall um, and Kyle Walker and John Stones have a little mistake in it there. A little pressure will fall, will make them slack or make them fault a little so i think those two should be giving a lot of pressure there i think with these tips croatia can move on to the round and to the final of the World cup and win their first ever trophy against france remember the winner will meet france in the final on sunday and the loser will face belgium in the third place playoff on saturday croatia can win and also a little worthy note i think croatia too can easily dominate the game and stop possible england counter-attacks england are basically playing on counter-attacks and it has been working so far so if the pace doesn't get to them they have to slow the game down to their pace and england will have to speed things up to their pace so it's going to be interesting how those dynamics will work out but croatia have to take things down and stick it up a notch to their pace that would be very very beneficial to them so that's it for croatia and how they can overcome the english attack 
this evening. Yes, I've been your host, Alasi Fiawe. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.